In this video, I will show you how to use image to image on Leonardo AI and create any image you want while having a specific image as a guide. First, you have to go to Leonardo AI. I will leave the link in the description below. Then you have to sign up. You can do that by coming right here and clicking on create account. Once you are done signing up, you will be brought here to the Leonardo AI dashboard. Here are the user tools, the image generation, real-time canvas, canvas editor, motion, and real-time generation. And if we scroll down here, we see all the generations of the community. Now let's say you want to make an image similar to this girl right here. You simply click on top of her and it opens this new tab. Here you can see the whole prompt that was used to create this image. You also can see the time this image was created, the Leonardo AI model that was used and also all the elements used. You also have the option to download the image by clicking on the download button giving it a name, and then saving it on your PC. Now let's say we want to create a very similar image with this image as a guide. We will come right here and click on Generate with Photo Reel. And by doing that, all the image settings and elements are automatically imported here, which will help us have a better result. But if you don't want to use an already existing image from the community, then what you have to do is while you are at the dashboard, come down here to where it says User Tools and click on Image Generation, and you will be brought to the same tab. But because I want to import the elements that the picture was made so we have a more accurate result, I will prefer the first method. Now here on the top left corner we have the Leonardo AI coins. When you create a generation you have to spend a certain amount of coins. The coins you have reset daily. The amount of coins you get daily depends on the plan you have. In the free plan, which I am on, you get 150 coins daily, so spend them wisely, or get a paid plan in order to increase the amount of coins you have. Here we have the number of images you want to create. Keep in mind that the more images you choose to create, the more coins you will have to spend. I will leave it at 4. Then we have the photo reel and the alchemy, which are some models that Leonardo AI has that help give a better final result. Then there is the public images option, which when turned on means that your generated images will be visible to the public in the community generations tab. In order to turn this off, you need to get a paid plan. Then we have the image dimensions, which is self-explanatory. You simply select the dimensions of the image you want to create, and then we have the advanced options in which you can change the aspect ratio of your picture. Now this is the prompt bar. Here is where we will write our prompt that explains in detail to the AI what the image should look like. I will paste my prompt here, but we will get to that in a second. First we need to upload the original image so the AI knows exactly our reference point in order to create a similar image. We simply come right here and click on Image Guidance. Then we come right here and click on Upload Image. Now we simply select the image we want and we upload it here. I will upload the image I downloaded before. And boom, as you see, the image was successfully uploaded. Here we have two options. First is the type of generation we want, which I will leave to Image to Image. And now we come here to the most important parameter of the generation, the strength. Strength means how closely it will resemble the first image in the new generation. The higher you have this, the closer it will resemble the image we uploaded, and the lower we have this, the more freedom and creativity we will leave to the AI, therefore making it less like the first picture. Because this is a tutorial, we will make a generation with very high and then with lower strength, so you can see the difference it makes in the final result. Let's make our first generation. Let's say we want to make this girl a warrior from the medieval years that is inside the battlefield and is holding a sword. So, as you saw earlier, have already written in the prompt bar, create a woman warrior from the medieval years that is holding a sword and is inside the battlefield. In general, you want to be as specific as you can with your prompts so the AI knows exactly what you want to create. All right, for this generation, I will leave the strength at 0.66 which is pretty high, especially for the changes I want to be made in this picture. And I will come up here and click on Generate. Now in order to see all of my generations, I simply come right here and click on Generation History. If you want me to make a video about how exactly to construct your prompts so you get the exact results you want, press the like button and comment it down below. And here are the generated images. And as you can see, they aren't what we asked for. Why is that? It is because the strength was too high for the changes I wanted to make to the image, which didn't allow the AI to change the background and the overall theme of the image as I asked it to do. Now let me show you what happens when I lower the strength. So we will go up here, 
where you can also modify the strength and lower it down to let's say 0 0.26. And now come up here and click on Generate. Boom. Look at those pictures. They are amazing, especially the last two are exactly what we asked for. You need to remember when using an image generator, you probably won't get the result you want with your first try. You will probably have to go up and tweak the settings and prompt multiple times until you get the exact result that you want. But if you want to make this process way faster and learn exactly how to write prompts that will give the result you want, make sure you watch this video about how to create better prompts.